that these 05, this applies to your 2005 up uh, GM trucks, uh, Tahoe, Suburban, trucks are all the same, nearly. Um, a lot of these are getting older now, so they're being more affordable, people are buying them, and those people are uh, old school guys that remember the old GM four pin uh, regulator that's been around for ages. It's tried and true, just like all the old stuff. It's uh, old tech, but it works great. Uh, fairly problem free. Um, on these, uh, you really just need one wire. One wire activates your alternator, turn it on and off. So, on these 05 trucks, this isn't on the website or anything. You need to call us, email tony at mechman.com. Uh, I can go over it again or explain it a little further the way you need to but a lot of people don't like the fluctuation that they see on these trucks uh, generally when they crank it up in the morning and it's cold you'll get your 15 volts and then as you're cruising through the day um, you may see this thing drop to 12 volts or, or whatever the resting voltage of your battery is 12.4 or 6 uh, whatever it is um, so it's basically the computer telling the alternator to turn off and that's for a fuel economy, right? Fuel economy. We got to get that extra one mile per gallon. Everybody has to get that. So probably they get the extra credit uh, on a tax break. But what we like to do for the people that are throwing amps, throwing subs, doing everything, trying to get that last tenth out of it, or just really don't want to deal with a fluctuating voltage. Like I said, this is on the website. You'll have to call in and ask about it. But we just use a regular old style GM four pin. You can see this was the two pin. It'll look just the same, two pin, but we'll install this four pin. So once you install this four pin, this will leave you with the one wire harness. You plug that in and you'll run your one wire over around, uh, you want this to a 12 volt switch source. So it needs to stay hot when the vehicle is on and stays on. There's some accessories in here that will turn on with the vehicle and then turn back off. So you don't want that. You gotta use a multimeter or have an educated person with you to tap into your fuse box on the right side. Um, generally, there's one around. Um, you can go through the schematic on the back. Um, anything pertains to switch 12 volts or um, anything that's just running, that needs to be running when the vehicle's running, that's really all it needs. It doesn't matter the voltage, just as long as it's telling it to turn on and off with the key. So once you have that, you'll have all this plugged in and you're like, well, I don't want to check battery light. I don't want to check charging light. I don't want any battery lights at all in my nice brand new truck that's brand new and uh, people don't want to see it. Some people don't care about that. We understand that, that's no problem. Well, what we have is a uh, little trickery device that we've come up with that makes the computer think everything is just fine. So what you would do with your four pin, you'd simply install the right way. You'd simply install this and just zip tie it out of the way because it's not going to be used. And then you would simply have your four pin running as basically a standalone system. So the alternator would be its own entity. And with this, you'll get the old school 1996 to 2004. Uh, 14.5 volts is kind of the resting point when it's warm. Um, when it gets hotter, you know, your Arizona people, California people, if it dips to 14.3 or 14.4 and it's 120 degrees outside, don't freak out. That's just how electronics work. It's just how they work. Um, colder climates, generally when you start up in the morning, you'll get your 15 volts, sometimes a couple higher, but it's gonna rest like your real world, real world test, you're gonna be 14.5, six, seven. All vehicles are different. All temperatures are different. That's how electronics work, temperature based. So that's how it works. You no longer have to deal with the fluctuating voltage. You don't have to deal with the battery light. You basically plug it in, one wire, and you're done. And if you have any questions, email us at MechMan. Uh, call us at MechMan. My name's Tony again, Tony at MechMan.com. If you need me to walk you through it or send you pictures or whatever you need, just let me know. Uh, this is what we do. Um, just sell alternators we educate the customer on why they need what they need uh, it's not as simple as just putting something in putting bolts where bolts go um, sometimes it's a little more than that and that's where we step in uh, we know what we're talking about uh, we know what works we know what doesn't work <laughs> we see a lot of what doesn't work 
So we're here to educate the customer on how to do it the right way and have a problem-free alternator install so you can enjoy your nice new vehicle and worry about something else not alternator related. So, Dan, thanks guys. Name's Tony.